So today on Straight Talk, I'm with Patty Olinger, who's the executive director of GBAC. Patty, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Uh, I know today we're going to talk about something that everyone is thinking about, everyone is doing. In fact, if you don't do it and you walk into a store, you might get kicked out. What mm -hmm. do you think that is? Masks. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I personally hate masks. And I have a couple hundred of these things and I keep them in my pocket just in case. And, you know, if you leave the house without it, you're in trouble. You, you have to kind of go back home and, and get your mask. But you're yeah. the expert. <laughs> you're the expert. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, these types of masks and other masks we might use. I also see, Patty, people taking a towel and putting a towel over their face. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yeah. So, I mean, so give, I, us, I mean, give us the G-back angle. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what, what the differences are because people get things confused. We hear about what's an N95 respirator or what's a respirator and what's a mask and what's a face covering. And, and oh my goodness, the one doesn't do the other. And it's like, so a, a N95 respirator here in the United States has to be approved by NIOSH. You have to have a NIOSH approved uh, little testing that they go through. From an occupational standpoint, if I'm a business and I'm going to require somebody to wear an N95, I have to have a medical clearance program. I have to have a fit testing program and a training program. And I have to know why and what they're using it for. So um, you know, dust particles. Um, if I'm in a really dusty location, I may need to wear it to protect somebody's lungs. From a uh, healthcare standpoint, if I go into a TB patient's room, I need to wear an N95. This is actually perfectly fine in a TB room because mm -hmm. I'm protecting myself. I'm not protecting them from me in that situation because of this valve here. Because when I breathe out, that valve opens up. It makes it easier for me to breathe. So if I see for one of those in the grocery store, I should run away. <laughs> well, yeah, um, unless you have something on. <laughs> yeah, which, which I always do, this one. Right. One so this one, you see a lot in healthcare. It's an N95 and it does not have what we call the exhalation valve on it. So it's protecting as you go out in it. But again, remember, it's occupational related issues. You may even see in healthcare and other situations, something like this. So this is, if I had to wear an N95 personally on a date, uh, let's say eight hours a day, this is, this is what's called a powered air purifying respirator. And the air is pulled through the filter, which is here and is blown over your face. And so when I was at Emory University and we had the Ebola patients, I had my nursing staff and my health, my physicians in that room with the Ebola patients for four to six hours at a time. Hmm. And so for their comfort, um, I actually, they had something which had a shroud and, and something that, that tucked into their suits, but they had the beauty of it is the air would blow over their face and it was HEPA filtered. And so they had the protection of the filtration, but they also had that comfort. I will admit, I am highly allergic to, I'm finding grass. So when I go cut the grass, I have been known and I get laughed at by my uh, neighbors of wearing that respirator. <laughs> they must um, wonder what's going on at your house. Oh, they, they know me by now, they, they just laugh. So. What this is, is a face covering. Mm -hmm. And you see this, if it may be a medical um, FDA approved face covering. So if you use it in a healthcare setting, you're supposed to have either FDA or that, you know, NIOSH approval for a respirator. And in fact, if it's in healthcare, you have to have that FDA approval. And so a medical mask, FDA approved medical mask, um, is just that it, it, it protects you like a surgeon. It's, you know, my both sons are surgeons. It protects their, the patient from you sneezing on them basically. Mm. Um, and it also protects you from those large droplets coming at you. Um, so, I mean, that's one of the big beauties um, of a face covering. What we're finding as we know is that you know, there are other types of face coverings coming out from different manufacturers. These are some, I thought they were interesting. I had picked them up 
a year ago when I was in uh, Japan and um, their, their face, their, uh, it's a face covering, uh, I think, uh, uh, but it's, uh, it's actually fairly comfortable. What we're finding is that the, the market is being inundated with face coverings. Um, I ended up, um, you know, buying my sons and my husband, uh, actually one that you take their measure. It's a, from a very well-known sports um, uh, manufacturer um, where you actually take the measurement and it can fit their face better than say something that is just a generic uh, uh, covering. And also they're, my sons are both runners. And so they want to have something that there's some space there. Um, something like this is kind of what you see as a typical face covering. Um, interestingly with this one is that it's actually, it was made for the pollution industry and, and allergens. And um, the owner of the company uh, made these because he had high allergies and when he would go to different places, his asthma would kick up in certain cities. And so they manufactured these about four or five years ago and they, they meet what's called ASTM standards for filtration and it will filter, the material itself filters down to 0.1 microns. And we're starting to see more and more of this on the market. Same company. Mm -hmm. And we've heard about the Gators, you know, make things. And again, something is better than nothing when we're out in public. What we're trying to do is protect others from in the event that we had something, um, the COVID-19 virus, uh, SARS-CoV-2, or even the flu. Um, we want to protect others from potentially our being ill, but then we also want to protect ourselves because we don't want to bring it home uh, to maybe somebody who is immunocompromised or we don't want to get sick ourselves. So, you know, even, even a gator. So this gator happens to have some filtration in it, but, you know, being able to, and you know what, it may be more, and they, you can cinch it right here around your nose so that you have that better filtration. But what we're finding is that even, again, same group, um, you know, there's going to be fashion statements you can imagine of things coming. But what I want to make sure is, because we're seeing this a lot, is that people are making the effort to wear these things, and yet we're still seeing people wearing them wrong. So if I have on my face mask, and you know, if we have this on, cover your nose and your mouth because that's really important. If you're pulling it down so that so, your nose- So this isn't good? This is but not it's so good. much more comfortable. It is so much more comfortable and I appreciate that. But the fact of the matter is that what we're finding is that with SARS-CoV-2, there's a lot of receptors for that virus in our nose, in the back of our throats. And so as we are potentially breathing in, even those large droplets, um, or even some of the droplets, I mean, we can, I'll talk about the aerosol thing in just a minute, but that if we're not covering our nose, we have no chance of, of stopping that. Mm -hmm. And so at least cover, you know, your nose and your mouth, whatever respirator or, or face mask or face covering you decide to wear. And as we are going into the cold season, we know that this virus, uh, SARS-CoV-2 is really happy in the kind of environment that we're about ready to go into. You know, let's make sure that we're covering our face, you know, take politics out. Um, let's protect ourselves and protect others. And, um, you know, wear our masks, whatever it may be. And, you know, there's a whole discussion on aerosolization. And it's like, even the scientists will argue, well, what's really truly an aerosol? What, what size micron is it gets to an aerosol? And it depends on who you talk to. So is it tiny, tiny particles that can be, you know, breathed down into your, your lungs or like, like tuberculosis, mm -hmm. or is it, you know, a droplet, you know, um, when, you know, Ebola, for example, is not considered a respiratory hazard, but a droplet, could, even a small droplet that had one to 10 part viral particles, which is really tiny, not very much can cause infection. And that's why for me, I was going to protect my, my doctors, no matter what I had to do from the top of their head to the tip of their toes. And even though it wasn't a respiratory protection issue, it was a droplet issue. 
And so we wore face covering from top, you know, like I said, even to that high level of a powered air purifying respirator. So wear a face mask. It's really important. Great commercial. I mean, advice. <laughs> For face masks in general. You know, there's a great study that just came out from the Department of Defense and United Airlines about airlines and, you know, not to go to airlines, but um, they have shown that if people with everything that the airlines are putting in place and the combination of wearing a face mask, it's one of the safest environments right now for people to do, to be in, um, is in an airplane because all the fil air is filtrate, filtrated and then they mimicked somebody coughing and sneezing um, with all of if from all the chairs and with people sitting in all the chairs, uh, they had the, the um, sampling data and everything reports right there that if they're wearing a mask, it's really a very safe and uh, you're more likely to get struck by lightning than to get infected. Well, that's which good. I to thought know. Was whenever, study. whenever we travel again, <laughs> that'll be good news. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Patty, so uh, great advice. Mask? Great advice as always. And uh, I will wear my mask or face covering as, as often right. as I can. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye.